All right, so today we have one of the more insane Nintendo Switch eShop sales going on to talk about, and I say the word insane because we quite honestly see the same games discounted month in and month out a lot of times when it comes to eShop related sales, and this time we have a number of first party Nintendo Switch games that either rarely go on discount or in some cases have never been on discount before this particular sale that we will walk through. So this eShop sale is definitely worth taking a look at in my personal opinion, and we're gonna get on the same page with which game Games are the best deals and which ones might be worth adding into your library before we do make sure you like subscribe and turn on your bell notification to join some nation if you're new here and with that we have to hop straight over to the nintendo switch sales and deals page where you can see the following play together sales save up to 50 percent on select multiplayer games now through august 11th at 11:59 p.m pacific time that is how long you have to take advantage of any of these deals and while it is themed around multiplayer from a lot of the first party games games you will notice right away these are not all multiplayer only games meaning they do definitely have a single player component to them as well so right out of the gate nintendo switch sports kicking us off on the top of this list it is 27.99 or 30 percent off it's 40 dollar regular retail i had a lot of fun with this game when it first came out but i honestly just have not gone back to it and i know we just got a free dlc update in the way of basketball being a new playable sport so might be worth updating and checking it out for that it did feel lighter on on the content side in terms of maybe i just wasn't as fascinated as i was with motion gaming like in the sports style game like i was with Wii Sports back in the day since it was a brand new thing back then but I definitely didn't play it to the extent that I did Wii Sports but that said still provides a good time and definitely an easy one to boot up if you have some more casual gamer friends over that you just want to have a fun party type environment game to switch off and go between and play at the same time like there's a lot of options here so maybe check out Nintendo Switch Sports at that $27.99 price point with the new free DLC update as well. Super Monkey Ball Banana Rumble is next up on our list at $37.49 and this is 25% off its $50 regular retail. They also have a deluxe edition, I'm assuming with additional characters and skins and all the DLC type content for this game. It's a relatively recent release at June 25th, 2024 is this game's launch date. So hasn't been out a long time and already has a sale associated with it. If you are a Super Monkey Ball fan, this might be worth checking out for you. Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition is a game that probably shouldn't be sold at 60 bucks regularly nowadays, but it definitely still is. It's just one of those that falls into Nintendo's first party $60 MSRP retail for the life of the game type of scenario. So this one's a lot of fun. I remember playing it on the Wii U. I did not actually play through the definitive edition on the Switch, but I did enjoy my time with this game back in the Wii U generation. And you shouldn't expect a, a classical Zelda style progression at all. That's not what this is. It is a Warriors game at its core with Zelda skins over it. So lots of fun, chaotic combat, multiple, multiple enemies on screen all at once. You're just plowing through fields of enemies essentially, but really cool to be able to play as a broad character roster within the Zelda universe and has some cool cinematic moments so one worth looking at for sure for Zelda fans and warrior style game fans out there Devil May Cry 3 special edition 999 that's a pretty regular repeat offender for, as part of most of these eShop sales Mario Golf Super Rush is a lot of fun but all the Mario sports games for the most part on the Switch generation are very light on content they slowly get drip feed updates and they get better over time but still not quite worth the $60 price point in my opinion ever uh, that said $40 is a lot more attractive of a price point for Mario Golf Super Rush this does have the option to play with traditional button controls and motion controls with the Joy-Con as well so I like having options like that I think this is a lot of fun and if you've been looking for a fun party style golf game to pick up this is not a bad option at 40 bucks Monster Hunter Rise uh, plus Sunbreaks Deluxe. This is 65% off or instead of $70, literally 25 right now. That's a pretty good deal. We do see it go on sale a lot, but that's definitely one of the better deals for all of that content at that price point. Or you can just get the base game Monster Hunter Rise, or I shouldn't even say base game Deluxe Edition for $15.99 or 68% off its regular price. Um, then you do have a, a Sunbreak Deluxe Edition if you just need the DLC for 20 bucks or 60% off. From there, Mario Strikers Battle League. This one does have a demo available there are definitely some lacking options in the online department when it comes to the multiplayer features around this game and nintendo never went and fixed them so it's a little bit of a hard recommendation for me because it could have been a great soccer mario soccer game like literally 
Mario Strikers on the GameCube, awesome, tons of fun. I did not put near as much time into this one personally, but definitely better at that $40 price point than the full 60. Just Dance 2024 Ultimate Edition is $42.49 right now. Mario Tennis Aces, the first Mario sports game we got on the Switch is $39.99 or 33% off. Grounded Fully Yoked Edition, which is a hilarious name that I didn't know existed for this game anyway, 40% off, $23.99 right now. This, of course, is a first-party Microsoft published title that was one of their experimental list of games to see how they would do if they brought them full on multi-platform. And I do understand you can progress this game entirely in solo or co-op mode, which is probably going to be, uh, you know, co-op mode being ideal to go through if you have friends to play with locally or on online. I'm assuming it supports both. I'm not actually 100% sure on that, but $23.99 for a somewhat recent port to the Nintendo Switch is not a bad pickup. This came out in April of 2024 on the console. So for anybody that's been on the fence of checking out Grounded, now is probably a good time to do so. It's also one that we really just do not see go on sale very frequently at all. Kirby's Dream Buffet is next up at $10.49. This was like a surprise uh, eShop only release for a Kirby game one day that we just woke up to a brand new trailer. And it may have been a shadow drop announcement, can't entirely remember, but uh, multiplayer focus definitely uh, online and local play is supported, I do believe. And this is just a fun, feel good multiplayer game at the end of the day. Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battles, $13.99 right now, or 65% off. Also a regular one that does tend to go on sale quite a bit. There's also the season and pass for $6.99 right now. Everybody won to switch a game that probably didn't sell that well, even at a $30 price point. It is a first party Nintendo title, if you can believe that. But we saw zero marketing for this game, like literally never even got a trailer into the lead up to its release. We saw a lot of internal reports that the game tested so badly uh, that Nintendo kind of didn't know what to do with it and just dropped it out at a $30 price point. So now it's $20.99, just a little bit cheaper. I'm still not going to make a recommendation on this one. I haven't played it. Maybe it is more fun than I realized, but don't really have that much interest to do so. Uh, $20.99 though is better than that $29.99 price point. Bay Farm is $41.99 right now and we'll point out that there is a demo available as well so you can hop into the gameplay and see if it's kind of up your alley or not before deciding to make that purchase. Uh, Chicory A Colorful Tale $9.99. Disney Illusion Island $27.99 30% off. This one looks like a lot of fun to me. Still one I have not gone through or given any time to, to actually check out firsthand but I have been intrigued by the trailers and the gameplay I've seen on line around it so classical you know 2d action adventure platformer you can go through it yourself or with multiple friends in co-op mode so it does look like a promising one for that 27 dollars price point clubhouse games 51 world classics is 27.99 30 off huge collection of a lot of smaller board game style games but on the switch if you're into that mario and sonic at the olympic games tokyo 2020 is 23.99 or 60 percent off right now Kirby Star Allies, $41.99, 30% off. This is a lot of fun. It's definitely on the easier side in terms of games, but you know, you don't expect Kirby to be known for the most difficult types of things, but it really did stick out to me going through this, like just how easy the difficulty level actually is. I do wish it was toned up a little bit more um, in that difficulty department, but fun to go through with friends. Like the four player local co-op is definitely where it's at for this. That's definitely where I would see you kind of probably enjoying it the most, especially enjoying it just with friends or family. Like I, I I think it is a fun game and it just seems way too high at that $60 price point but for $41.99 not quite as bad granted it has been out for quite a while on the switch and still seems like a pretty high price point but also another one that we really don't see go on sale that frequently um, we have some crash racing games uh, on screen that you can see we have big brain academy brain versus brain for 30% off or $20.99 right now that's one that I never checked out on the switch uh, but did enjoy some brain age games back in the DS era and things and fortunately there is a demo available for that as well so you can check it out before you choose to purchase it. Drumbone Champ is probably the exact type of game it sounds like for $8.24 or 45% off right now. Fitness Boxing 2 Rhythm and Exercise, $34.99. Trying to get your fitness in. Uh, it's a cool way to do it on the Switch. You know, it's been out for a while. It also has a demo available, but 30% off. It's not a game we always see go on sale here. ARMS is discounted to $41.99 right now or 30% off. That's a game that has been out on the Switch for a long time that I actually have never picked up. Dead by Daylight, $11.99, 60% off instead of its $30 regular price viral uh, fire emblem excuse me warriors three hopes 41.99 30 off that's definitely a good one to look at more of the warrior style gameplay like we talked about for hyrule warriors but of course this one being themed around fire emblem and you do have a demo available so you can check it out before you choose to purchase it 
Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2, the sequel. I only played the original, but this is another Smash Bros. clone. Um, it is a pretty hefty discount, so I do want to mention this one briefly. $14.99 instead of its $50 regular price, so a full 70% off. Um, this one was fun for me. Just It's really hard to do a Smash clone and do it well because it just makes me want to play Smash Bros. more whenever I play anything that's even like similar to it in style of gameplay, but I did have some fun with the original. Not sure how they tuned things up or made it better for number two, but... 15 bucks is not a bad opportunity to pick that one up considering how big of a discount it is right now. WarioWare Get It Together, which is the first WarioWare game on the Switch, not the second more recent one, which I believe is called Move It. Well, anyway, this one is discounted to $34.99, 30% off instead of its $50 regular retail. It also has a demo available and it's one that we don't see go on sale frequently. Um, we'll start to go through the list just a little bit quicker here for the sake of time. Kirby Fighters 2, $13.99. Sonic Superstars Digital Deluxe Edition is 50% off, and I had a ton of fun with that game. It's the new Super Mario Bros. version of a classic 2D Sonic game with really pretty visuals and a lot of fun with the co-op mode included. Various options for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge on screen here. Base game, 16 bucks. DLC, $6.39, or the bundle for 20. That's a ton of fun. Definitely one to boot up and go through online or locally through the co-op play on that. Like a ton of fun. Really do highly recommend checking that out for Turtles game fans. Dragon Ball Fighter Z Fighter Z Editions $14.39 instead of 90 which we do see it discounted quite heavily frequently to be fair but that's still one of the better price points for it uh, Cuphead and the Delicious Last Course 28% off always like to mention Cuphead it's a ton of fun it's ridiculously challenging and the DLC is even harder than the base game which is saying something uh, 20 bucks, not a bad pickup if it's not already in your collection. Uh, scrolling on down from there, Diablo 3 Eternal Collection is 20 bucks. Burnout Paradise, $5.99. Uh, Borderlands 989 like uh, tons of different games on sale that we just don't always see that get discounted that are discounted right now so really wanted to mention this uh Uno's 399 there is currently a Nintendo Switch uh inter or excuse me Nintendo Entertainment System controller for Nintendo Switch via the online store Nintendo Switch online you have to be a member to purchase these but they're 20% off so you get a little bit better deal than what Nintendo normally sells those as um if you haven't picked them up already Borderlands Franchise Celebration, all of your Borderlands games that are on the Switch are currently um, on discount, 60% off for Borderlands 3 Ultimate Edition. That's just a $23.99 price point, really good. And we'll kind of quickly highlight the Ubisoft sale before kind of wrapping it up here. And maybe there might be um, Devolver Digital, I think has a sale going on right now that we'll mention very briefly as well. But Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown, I can't recommend enough to players to check out at some point in time. If you are a fan of Metroidvania games at all, period, this, this is literally a top tier one and one of my favorite experiences in a Metroidvania. I legitimately enjoyed every minute of my gameplay experience going through that game. Uh, Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope is 20 bucks right now or 67% off. Um, and you can see the others on screen, some kind of regular ones that we do see uh, go on discount quite a bit. Uh, Devolver Digital also uh, doing some of their more multiplayer focused games as part of this ongoing sale. And I will have this linked in my description down below should you want to spend some time going through things at a slower pace and more detail, but not one to sleep on. Definitely a lots of uh, discounts that we don't always see happen on as part of the Nintendo Switch eShop sale. So I did want to mention this one. Multiplayer focused, but still plenty of fun for single player experiences if that's what you mainly game as um, as well so let me know in the comments down below if you're picking up anything if you're excited about the sale that's going on in the eShop or if you're maybe still playing through your backlog and what are you playing at that point uh, on the Nintendo Switch right now while we wait for some new news around what Nintendo's cooking up for us with their next gen hardware and the rest of their 2024 release schedule so make sure you share all your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below before you leave regardless if we agree or disagree also make sure you like subscribe turn your notification bell and with that I've been Sunbro you've been Nation thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video